Hi guys, it's still quite early in the morning. And yeah, oh yeah, true. Uh, at some point in time, I decided to install the flagship on a PTRFS system. So that's what we're working on. I don't know if Dove is installed, it is. So PTRFS is what I'm working on now. I have, I woke up this morning and I had this feeling I wanna have a conky. Conkeys are not important, are super unimportant. But it's fun to have something displayed on your screen and we have already so many conkeys. So that's why I've been holding off on making more because look at the size of it already. But, right, <laughs> but I would like to have a conky, a new one. Just the other day, yesterday, somebody asked, Eric, uh, how should I learn Lua? And I said, why not go into conkeys? Conkeys are fun and learning Lua can be done as well. So there are lots of conky Lua scripts out there and that's a way to learn your, uh, your Lua. Uh, I found something, let's see, it's called Gray Redux that I th think maybe that would be nice if we just do that. Gray Redux, let's have a look. GnomeLook.org. How about this? Mm, no, that's not the one. That's not the one. Is the one? Let me check. No, Ubuntu it says. There is another one. Conky Gray Modified. So there are some, some versions of this gray thing around. Of course, you can always change conkeys. That's just the fun of it. But still, it's not the one that I want. Let me pause and look for it. All right, found it. So it's conky with all these underscores, conky gray redux. And this could become part of our system. And that's it, of course, right? First the code, and then it should become part of Arch Linux. How does one do that? Because that's, of course, a super interesting project. You find something somewhere on the internet how to incorporate it in your operating system. Okay, oops. Let's go and download this thing. Download .exet. We go to pling.com. Hopefully we get something, of course, because all these sources, sometimes they break. Show in folder. Extract here, Conky Gray Redux. Okay, so how will I proceed now? Well, first of all, make sure you have Conkeys, right? So let's put you on the second screen. Super Shift Enter, Control H, Config. You have Conkeys on your machine. Conkeys, check. Then, with lots and lots of Conkeys, um, we're gonna make this guy. Let's call you Redux, okay? So, let me move you here for a moment and call you, there is a naming convention, AUR, and so on. And there is also Arco. So this is an Arco thing. And I should write it like that, Arco. Then Redux. And it's Lua. So you know already, if you do not install a support for Lua, it might be that you start with ALCI, it might be that you start with Arch D. If you install just Conky, then you won't be able to run the Lua stuff. So some of these guys have the name or the letters uh, L-U-A, or oh, as an example, here's an example. So you know, for that particular thing, if you wanna have that, yeah you have to install support for it, Lua code. And dot conky RC, I guess. Let's look again. Arco, Redux, conky RC, gray Lua. Okay, wrong. So this one, Arco Redux is gonna be the name. Conky RC. Let's not make it too long. And we forgot the Lua. It's still early in the morning. Nah, ah, capital letters, Eric. 
like that. So this guy can go in here and it'll just be yeah, inside all these guys. Fine. Now this guy, Conky Grey Lua, well, let's rename it as well. Redux Lua. We've put a cut, we've put a folder in here with all our Lua stuff. Control V. So it's in the correct place. All right. Now I have to tell, of course, that all the, change, the places have been changed. And let's have a look. So Arco Redux Lua. Open it with whatever um, tool you like. And there is Atom. No, I wouldn't do every word. Code OS is good. Um, you know, leave pad, why not? Notepad QQ, Vim. So Atom, choose. Plain text. I don't think we have anything better. Pearl, maybe. For conkeys. You see some colors and some references that are broken if you delete something, right? A comma, and no, it's not a comma, apostrophe, is that the word? And then you see, okay, that's an issue. Okay, so this is old code. That's a problem or not. Is this old code? Let's have a look. No, this is new code. So conky text. What do I mean by old and new? At some point in time, I think it's around two years already, um, they changed from a Lua convention, Lua type of writing things um, from an old one to the Lua convention. That's how I should say it. So that changed, but there's no need for us to change anything right here, right now, except of course the Lua load. Where am I going to find the Lua? Where am I going to find the Lua? I'm gonna find Lua in .config conky. I'm gonna find the Lua in .config conky. And then inside the Lua folder. And then inside the Lua folder, we've called it better check. Conky redox. Conky underscore underscore redux. Save. Okay, so now we've defined everything. Well, not everything, but let's see what we already get right now. Um, I want to have this one here. This one can go because when I do right mouse click and then conky send, there is a new guy, right? Conky name, then it's alphabetically. And we go to Arco, 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 Arco. I passed you already, did I? Back up. All right, here they are. Arco, Arco, Redux, there you are. Okay, let's see what happens. Oh, that's already not bad. We'll have to wait for the signs and they're getting there. So CPU, it's actually not a good thing to make a tutorial about. <laughs> I mean, it's almost ready, right? It's 90% it's okay. There's something about GNOME and something about IPs, but this is not looking that bad. Let's take another wallpaper. That always matters, of course, choosing wallpapers. So we have our little variety for next. Now this variety, um, from time to time, it just is, is yeah, I don't know, right? Just you quit it and you start it again and you'll see it will work again. It takes for at this point in time like 30 seconds to stop it. It will stop, so don't just be patient. Those are things you just know and then you live with, right? Variety, up, oh, Alt, N, next one. That's a bit too dark. Alt, P, previous. That's better to look at, right? For the moment. So this is a nice little clock. Oh, okay, looks good. Must say, rather difficult to read. So six o'clock fifty-eight. Yeah. Okay. 
<laughs> those are the seconds moving around all right so what else can we do temperature celsius for me that's good fahrenheit is the other option if we click here all right so that's okay we're just looking at uh, what should i choose own window type there are lots of types you can do and maybe we can add some more elements to it um, yeah already got one so if we go there's an example i always start with so there are the arco things the acres is good to start with uh, 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 uh. another one to start with is here he is nemesis AOR nemesis there is a lot of information in here all the possibilities you can have and, and trying to understand what does all this code do so that's behind here so i just went and had a look at this basically Control c so if you have um there are 21 desktops on arclinks right so if you're on another desktop you say huh, a strange doesn't work it doesn't look good then you have this here all the possibilities are normal override dock desktop panel switch so just change these lines here and switch now i wonder that's okay it seems to be okay so it's coming back so this thing is actually text he does not uh, read that but it's good for us right to remember oh yeah there are possibilities to change it and often i then just do this so we can have a look so there are colors all white personally i prefer all white but we could make some little small accents here a little bit orange or something i don't know but it, it will be less compatible with possible wallpapers afterwards and white is just neutral let's go to the last thing so maybe gnome first kernel so you read the lines a little bit smaller maybe so vertical offsets okay 70 down boom you go down and then we look for time the time here the time here the time here time 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 system info that's this one open sans everybody has open sans so we don't need to install fonts go to font sans user and user id yep let's get rid of that the kernel here's the kernel mm -hmm. okay where is gnome execute gnome shell stuff to know to know the version of gnome not really necessary for us oops Control z i think i did something wrong there let's try it again delete save gnome are you still there so that's one less kernel here uptime there okay do we want we can always compare and go back here right and and have a look what's possible you can print the release so Control c some lines from somewhere else uh, like for instance here Control v save what do we get an extra line we get the word argolinux that's all we get so yeah if that's all you get maybe that one is better to be at the top somewhere save and then get Arclinux up here like this it has a font let's just get rid of the font or just say the same font as the other guys Control c weight bolts you know we'll see safe now we get our links up there all right then we have um, the alignment of course so color one font color two uh, do they work with colors color four two one yep yeah. so numbering fine here it doesn't do anything because everything is white right because 
that's up here maybe color like this save now it should be aligned centrally uh, what was that again I think it's like this dollar align C there they are align C close it again and then save what happens now our collections in the middle but everything went down so the best tip I can give you is if you want to do that start at the top and work down don't start messing with the code again when you're at the bottom and add something at the top because everything will will jump from reference it's it's it jumps down here with vertical offset of 70 which well puts everything down so i take 50 again to get it back up <laughs> no pun intended okay almost there i guess it's gonna be zero vertical offset zero okay we're back in the middle but even here you just check all the rest as well is everything still okay cpu memory it is sometimes pixel wise you know this guy could really use a few pixels to get out there but it's still okay so voila something extra so basically what i'm saying is if you missing some stuff you get code somewhere else it's okay i want to have that code as well so up time is here and so on what else they have a virtual offset maybe this space between them is a little bit too much so cpu where are you that's cpu here if you do already the blank line away this happens and then cpu is there let's take it's always 15 you see 15 15 15 15 so this of course good symmetry is is a good thing but why is this so big between there and there let's try another delete here ah, yeah. everything is going up so cpu is going up uh, which is good but then I should go into Lua code as well to see if I can change that because Lua is not defined here the, the radars here is not defined and it will make our work more and more difficult by adding this Arconix up there so the way it is like this is still good right that's okay Do we need something else besides system info kernel uptime? So we're thinking from top to bottom because otherwise things will change again. So here's the kernel. Let's make this a bit smaller. Okay, fonts. That's the uptime, the CPU temperature kind of find as important but of course you need to have sensors and all that Control c let's see if we can add that to this one save cpu temperature mm -hmm. and now we do the fonts so let's make this bigger again we do exactly the same as what uh, is up there say go to 50 color one yeah sure why are you not saying color one here then so we're fixing the code a little bit open font same size like that cpu temperature align right 50 and then they say font again color one fine and this one 
and then they get a command. And we have our CPU temperature here. Hmm, that's better. So because of all that, this guy just jumped down a centimeter or so, right? It's much better that it's at the bottom here than at the top of this, well, dial, is that the word? This circle. Keep off, Eric. It's good. So, mm -hmm, looking good. Clinics, okay, system down, fine. CPU, those guys are busy. Processes, why are you bold? Processes. Why are you bold? Memory processes is bold. Don't like you to be bold. Should it be normal? Come on, caps lock. Well, size. So all the processes are 275. Or I could put you at the top, which I think would be better. Control X. Control V delete save process at the top there are 276 processes uh, 77 <laughs> and these guys are busy memory simple screen recorder chrome insync okay storage just that guy here is something that we don't need so hashtag out you can read it try it it's about home don't have a home you know I keep it simple and stupid. Oh. One big chunk. And then used. Oh, yeah. So we're looking at the used part. Okay, but there is something else that's maybe you could add something else in the sense that there are used things and Control find used. That's in the memory. Used memory. So it's not part of AOR Nemesis. And then you go to, there are some documentation, configuration settings. Look at that, right? So I made a nice PDF for it. From Conky source, sourceforge.net. And then we have, uh, what was it called? Well, something used, right? Control find used. Okay, let's have a look. Hard disk, maybe. Tja, there are functions in here, right? To, to show you what is used from hard disk and what's not. I was thinking about getting the total amount of space I have on my hard disk. It's in here somewhere. Or it's online. Or it is just here. Open terminal PT disk. All right, disk AVM, disk all the same. Disk reads and writes, input, output, disk, disk, disk. used so file system used that's one of them or memory what's what are you using for memory percentage what are you using here still don't see it I guess file size home. That's it, huh? But then the file size of this that's used. And that's file size. So like actually this guy. 
control C, control shift C. That would be my command to type it in. I'm not, I'm not gonna add it, but I'm gonna show you anyway. So like this, where the storage, that's here, control V. Now we have to add some stuff. So dollar, open, close. Safe. We're on a machine of thousand terabytes, or one terabyte, sorry, thousand gigabytes, and only for, for 43, 43, and it's all, everything you can install is just installed. All the stuff you have in Calamars is installed. So that's a test for me that everything installs fine. So voila, we have now found the code. Do I like the code? I don't know. Yo, why not, right? So we have used 43 gigabytes out of 931 gigabyte. Sure, let's keep it. What else? Internet. If up, if up. You will have to change this everywhere, any distribution, any com key, any PC. This can be the same, but most often it's not the same. So your up device, if the, the interface, if your ethernet or wireless is different, then you need to, of course, to know the name. So ifconfig is the one we use. And in my case, that's the name. So control shift C. And then I go to this guy, control H. And then I say every reference to it, to this ENPOS32D3, replace all please. Boom, save. And suddenly things change. That's my internal IP. Then DNS, what's that? DNS. Grab DNS servers, prints, all kind of things. What is he doing? He's doing this. Control C, Control Shift V. He's trying to do this. Service not found. So whatever he wants to do, it's not available on our machines. Then you cut the command in pieces. Okay, you cut the command in pieces. So it's just, just nothing available. Resolve is something we do not have, I suppose. We do not use. So out it goes. I am not really interested in my DNS anyway. And then delete, save. And on public IP, let's um, it should show something. Now this is something you would not put in a conky per se, since that is showing your, basically your router at home. So wherever you're living, think about where's internet coming in and any hacker is already at that door of that router. So sharing that number is not a smart thing to do. So I would suggest just to get rid of it and keep that very, very private. Safe. And then we have an uplink. So what are we uploading? What are we downloading? This is quite a bit of space in between. Did we change something in spaces? No, but this is a little bit too much for me. Save. Vertical offset 15, zero. Okay, how about this guys, our new conky? Looking good, right? Now, this is the conky 
I'm on XFC. This is a con key for XFC. I'll make a, a next one, the, the, another one for, well, the same basically, but then fit for Plasma because there are two packages out there. Yay, Arco Linux Conky. There are two packages out there. One for 21 desktops and one, well, actually 20, right? Minus Plasma. This is for the one for Plasma, clearly says so. And that's the one for all the rest. All right, so I'll do that in the backend office. We have a new Conky. Enjoy. Or should I quickly check the Lua code? I would stay off. Everything works, right? <laughs> Do stay off. But just showing you uh, where my Conky is. Just showing you that there is information. If you want to change something, it's going to be here. Uh, let's do some stuff, some stuff, right? It actually looks all good, but name, time, arguments, hour, value, the X and the Y, the radius for your clock, I suppose, radius, how big you want to have it. Let's exaggerate. That's this line. Okay, control Z. And that's how I learn about Lua. All well, the variables in this case, not really f uh, Lua yet, but um, text weight is here, text size is here, and so on. Colors maybe you want to change, but it's all white. I like it like this, so I'm not going to change anything. But if I would do that, and then I would change to red or something, so FFF would be FF0000. Save. And then you see. What did that just change? And if nothing happens, well, you keep on trying to change things. Maybe you miss something or maybe it's not available, not working. Graph, background color, okay. Something else then. <clears throat> because it says also background alpha, which means I guess it really is transparent. Let's go back to red. there you are so this guy is is the red thing and then you figure it out how what all these parts are and that's of course fun it is so hours minutes seconds gosh 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 name cpu name cpu right arguments is cpu zero maximum value is 100 Okay, graph radius, for, for instance, we could make this guy, let's take another one this time. And then normally, yeah, that's the piece I would think it would change. So if I would like to make some coloring in here, my idea would be, to make system info orange, for example, and then CPU orange, MRI orange, storage orange, net orange, and then maybe this thing as well, this little bit in orange as well. Anything goes, right? It is creative. It's up to you to change it. Now, do not change this particular file because when you scale, it gets overwritten. So rename every file so it never gets overwritten. And you have your own conky. There is something in here, it's not used. Mem percentage. File system. And here's another one that's not used. That's for home. So if people want to have their home, just delete this guy. And I guess that's already okay. Because this should be gone as well. I would think. Control save. Since I do not have home, nothing gonna happen, I suppose. Okay. So for the people with home there, convert colors, hexadecimal to decimal, angle to position, draw clock rings, 
background ring and you try to read what all this is. Rounded background. Background is with a C, my friends. Safe. So this little thing, yeah. What if we take five? You don't see it. 20. Hmm. I think I'm gonna keep 20. Background color, background alpha. Okay. This is good for wallpapers, right? Alt N. Alt N. You still need to be able to see it even on a bright background. If it's dark, it's gonna be even better, but also on a white one, a light one, like this one, should be good. So I'm gonna keep six. I could have taken seven, let's have a look. Hmm. Choices, right? <laughs> This is Linux all over. Choose Debian, choose SUSE, choose MDM, choose GDM, choose Lightium, then we choose, oh my God, what should I choose? So many desktops, what applications? It's always choosing. All right, so if we've gone through the Lua, so basically give it a go, try out some, some variables and make it your own, the way you see, this is what I want. But do make a copy, don't change in here like I do. Make a copy, change the names, and then move forward by being creative. All right. Cheers, guys. Have fun.